Hey guys, so today's video is so important to me and I really try to always have my videos have some sort of meaning or something that you can take away from them. But this video, if you have the chance to watch one of mine, I hope that it's this one because I think what I'm going to be talking about affects so many girls and just people in general and it's not the easiest thing to talk about and I feel like people don't bring this up enough and maybe if you hear it from me, it's something that I would have really liked to have heard when I was in this position. So I wanted to talk about just personal growth and loving yourself and feeling good enough and I know this all sounds very cliche I'm sure you've heard you know just be yourself that's good enough you'll be happy blah 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 but I want to get a little bit deeper into this so to give you a little bit of like background history I for a while have been struggling just with loving who I really was and accepting you know traits that I had whether that be kind of you know personality wise and internally and also just physical traits and I think as a girl that's so common it's so common to look at other girls and compare yourself and to wonder you know am I thin enough are my boobs big enough is my hair long enough you know why does this girl look like this why does this girl get to do this blah 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 and nowadays with social media I think it's even more just prevalent that there are so many people to view all around the world in all different scenarios and situations and it's so easy to get caught up in comparing yourself to other people and to kind of starting to put yourself down and start to think of yourself as lesser and to doubt yourself and to doubt your whole journey of just, you know, growing up and becoming the person that you want to be. And it's really easy to get sucked into that. And I definitely know that when I was younger, I really struggled with that a lot. And I had a hard time kind of just liking who I was and that is so difficult and I feel like you know the time that I actually spent to discover who I really was and who I wanted to be and the time that I put into actually loving myself I cannot tell you how much of a difference it's made in my life and how much more I feel like I'm truly living and that may sound so weird but when you are constantly comparing yourself to other people and you're constantly thinking that you're not good enough or you're not at the point where you're supposed to be or you're not accomplishing enough you are just putting such a damper on life and you truly are not viewing it for how special it really is. And I am so grateful that I've actually gotten to the point now of truly accepting myself. And as an example, I used to always be really hard on myself for being kind of quiet and for not being super outgoing and super extroverted. I always just thought it was such a negative thing that I would like listen to people and kind of keep to myself and be a little bit guarded. And now the way I view that is I know that I'm a great listener. I know that I truly listen to people. I really am good at kind of seeing people's true intentions and kind of, you know, the things that they don't say, the things that they want to keep hidden. I'm good at picking up on those things. And I've had a lot of scenarios where I've given someone advice and they've been really surprised by it and appreciative of it. And they're like, how did you know? Like, how did you know what to say? Or how did you even know that's the issue I was having? And it all comes down to just me being a very observant person. And while I may not be the loudest, most talkative, outgoing girl in the room, I do really put in a lot of care and effort to people that I care about. And with being quiet, it kind of all works out. So just things like that, that it's taken me a while to actually get to the point where I appreciate that about myself. And then I can realize, you know, this may be something that makes me different from other girls, but it's something that I like about myself. And it's something that does make me who I am. And without that, I wouldn't be what I am today. And it's just all so interesting to think about because I think ever since we're little, we're kind of told, you know, just be yourself and you'll be happy. Be yourself and people will like you. And it's hard to hear that and then to also, you know, be seeing all these images on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and even your own friends and maybe your parents or siblings and other people just kind of comparing you and putting you down and maybe making you feel like you're not right where you are or you're not doing the right thing or you're just not the best version of yourself. And I can say that also, you know, with working on myself and really trying to examine the things that I was unhappy with and trying to kind of make a change for that, I've noticed just how much happiness that has brought into my life. And it's not the fact that I'm changing who I am or I'm becoming any better or any different. It's just the fact that I'm putting in the effort to myself and I'm focusing on me and I'm focusing on what makes me happy, what I need to do in order to feel like I am prepared, what I need to do in order to feel like 
like I'm being productive and taking away all the time and effort that I would put into kind of examining other people and to, you know, comparing myself to, you know, what's this girl doing? What's this girl look like? All this kind of stuff. Taking all that energy and putting it into me has been just the most amazing thing. And it's really made me realize like how much like potential you have to be happy when you start to focus on yourself and you start to love yourself truly from the inside and out. You know, on my body, I think girls, of course, always struggle with that. And I struggled for a really long time with just being curvier. That's the way my body's built. I have a bigger chest, a bigger butt. And for so many years, I was so uncomfortable with that. I would try my hardest to diet and to thin out and to just not have this body type where now I can accept myself and I can realize that I may not be super tall and thin like a model, but I, you know, like the way I look in certain clothes and I feel sexy in certain outfits and that's okay. And it's okay to not be, you know, exactly like a girl that you admire and you can admire different types of beauty and that doesn't mean that the type of beauty that you have isn't gorgeous as well and I think you know that may sound so cliche but it's so true and until you get to that point it's hard to view things like that and to put this into perspective a little bit more so I have a really close friend and when I was a freshman in high school she was a few grades older than me and I looked up to her so much I admired her and I would always see her in the hallways and I thought she was just the most beautiful girl and I thought you know she was so outgoing and talkative she had so many friends so many guys wanted to date her I just literally thought like this is the perfect girl like she has no issues if I could just be like her I would be so happy Happy and fulfilled and my life would be great and you know for a little while you know I tried to you know kind of copy her you know sense of style and the way she did her makeup and all this kind of stuff and you know kind of as fate would have it a little while later we actually became friends and we got to know each other really well and I now can say she is absolutely one of my best friends in the entire world I love her to death but getting to know her on a personal level, I know that there are some days where she doesn't like the way that she looks or some days where she feels like she doesn't like the way her hair lays or she doesn't feel like, you know, a guy is being nice to her or just all these things that make someone human and just it's incredible because it made me just respect and admire her that much more knowing that she also has the same you know struggles and problems and things that I think about she feels that as well because at the end of the day we are all human and we all are so much more similar than we think we all have insecurities and we all have days where we just don't feel good enough about ourselves and realizing that and understanding that and just kind of making these people that you view as you know goals or these girls that you admire or look up to they're just other girls just like you and I'm sure that there are days when they struggle with the way that they look or the way that they feel inside and to understand that and to really grasp that has just really transformed my life because I've realized that it's not just me and I wanted you guys to know that because I remember when I was younger I wanted someone to tell me that I wanted someone to be there to let me know that the way I felt was okay and you know feeling unsure about myself and my path in life and what I was doing and ultimately just who I am was okay but at the end of the day you have to be yourself and you have to celebrate the things that make you different and unique because those are truly the reasons that people love you and the reasons that people want to be around you and want to learn and grow from you and from being your friends and on that note I just have been seeing a lot of you guys on Instagram I read through my comments always on my photos and I'll always go to your profile and look through your pictures and I see how many viewers I have that are so beautiful and they look so happy and fun and I just I hope that no one is you know struggling with this type of thing and if you are I hope that you can find some peace in this video knowing that I've been there and probably every other girl in the world has been there so I hope that you guys just are inspired to be yourselves and really show the things that make you different show them and let them shine through because I promise you those are the things that make you the most beautiful and those are really the things that make you stand out and make you memorable to people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have all my social media links linked below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!